Okay, now we add all the needed view components for the game. Uh, now it will look like a wallpaper uh, that contains three images, uh, a background image, uh, a born image, and here is a platform image. And inside the program, uh, all are uh, logical objects. And now we need to convert uh, these logical objects into physical body. To convert uh, these logical objects into physical body, uh, we need some physical engine. Corona contain a box 2D uh, physical gaming engine. So for converting these uh, logical objects into physical body, we have to include uh, that physical gaming engine to our application. So that is the next section. So here I'm going to create some variable. I name it as physics. Uh, require and specify the uh, resource type here it is physics so in this statement uh, we include the available uh, physical gaming engine uh, to our application so now we need to start the physical engine so physics dot start uh, this statement start the physical engine so now we have a physical engine available on our game and now we can convert uh, this logical body into physical body. So first here I am going to convert the ball into a physical object. So you have to call the method add body. Uh, for this method you have to pass two parameters. The first parameter is the logical object and second parameter is the type of the body. So here the logical object is ball and now specify the type of the object. Here I specify the type as dynamic. Dynamic means here a ball is a moving object. That's why I specify the object type as dynamic object. So in physics, if the object is a dynamic one, it is influenced by gravity and any other physical forces. So in our system, in our game, now there is only one physical body, it is the ball. So if you run the application, the ball is under the influence of gravity and it falls to the, towards the earth. So we can check it now. So I save the program and relaunch it. So here you can see now the ball is uh, fall from space to ground uh, under the influence of gravity. So here we have a platform. but still the platform is not added to the physical engine that's why the ball is not stopped by the platform so now i'm going to add the platform to the physical engine so physics dot add body the first parameter is the logical object here it is platform now specify the type of the object here i specify that one into static so here i specify the platform into a static object a static object is not influenced by gravity or any other physical forces. So here now uh, we have two physical bodies are available in the game. First one is the ball and second one is the platform. So here ball is a physical dynamic body and platform is a physical static body. So if the body fall from space, the platform stop it. We can check it. I save the program relaunch it so here you can see the ball hit the platform and after some bounce it come to rest and here uh, there is a little bit space between the platform and the ball so we can change it so here uh, we have to adjust some physical properties of the ball so for changing the physical properties here you have to specify some brackets now here uh, you need to specify the physical properties of the object and separate them using comma operator. So here I am going to modify one property it is a radius. So here the ball radius ball uh, diameter is 120 so the radius is 60. So if I specify value 50 uh, the ball if the ball fall towards the platform uh, it exactly hit the platform. So we can check it I save it save it again now relaunch it. Now there is no space between the ball and the platform. So this is how we add physics to the gaming app. So here we include the uh, box 2D 
physical gaming engine to the application and we add two physical body to the physical system first one is the ball that is a dynamic object and second one is the platform that is a static object so the dynamic objects are under the influence of gravity that's why the ball fall from space towards the platform 